Hey everyone, I'm Catherine and I'm here with Dr. Bacon for another Breakfast with Bacon and today we're going to be talking about hormonal acne and PMS around your cycle. Yeah, and I think this is a, it's a big topic for you ladies out there. Uh, we can always talk about the acne, I have no problem with that. Most females get acne right around here is a cystic acne or kind of that acne around that hormonal imbalance mm -hmm. which is more estrogen dominant. Now as for PMS, Catherine plug your ears. No, no, you're not crazy. No, no, but listen, okay. No, but, but we can talk a little about how this works and why we have these things and these changes. Mm -hmm. Most of the time is an imbalance in those hormones mm -hmm. between estrogen, progesterone, and then, of course, testosterone has an effect, but really more of the estrogen and progesterone. Mm -hmm. And like I said earlier, it's more of an estrogen dominant. So let's go over three things that we can do to kind of help more regulate that. So there's a little bit more of a bounce to it. Mm -hmm. And a little bit more of like, you're not dealing with so much of this influx and kind of craziness of the bounce. So uh, number one would be uh, dealing with eliminating foods. Guess what? We've heard this before. What's one thing we need to eliminate? Starts with an S. Sugar. Yes, sugar, of course, right? And I don't know if I told you this, but it's a mitogenic hormone. So sugar causes cells to turn over faster, which makes sense, right? We eat sugar. Our parents thought when we gave us sugar, if it gave us energy, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it does, but that's that sugar crash. And then you all, of course, what happens after you eat the sugar, then what do you get? A crash. Yeah, that crash right afterwards. So when you think through this, that's what's happening. And so this, if you're estrogen dominant and you're pouring more sugar in, wow, look at what that's going to do. Mm -hmm. Now, what also likes a mitogenic hormone or things to turn over faster? Cancer. And that's one of those things that that's why sugar is such a bad thing to really add in on a regular basis. You got to be aware of it. Now, the other things are kind of processed foods, of course, bad oils, which is going to cause inflammatory response. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, our other one's dairy. Mm -hmm. Got to keep an eye on that one. There's really no reason for us to be eating a bunch of or drinking a bunch of dairy. So, Catherine, number two would be what? Reducing toxins in our home products, like your cleaning supplies, your air fresheners, both at home and in your car. If it's you know, plugged into your vents in your car and it's just blowing on you the whole time you're driving, that's no good. And then you may be coming home and it's plugged in around your house too. Um, other things like nonstick pans. So if you're cooking in those for all of your meals, that can add up really quickly. Candles. And then of course we've covered makeup and skincare. Or yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then number three, mm -hmm. and last but not, but not least, of course, is what we're putting in. And so we want to talk about adding more cruciferous vegetables back in. Those cruciferous vegetables contain a compound of DIM. And so this is going to help your body break down and utilize estrogen better in the system. Mm -hmm. Well, that would help it metabolize it better. And then we're able to use that progesterone when it's needed. Another secret to this too is, I want them to know this, is eliminating animal proteins five to 10 days prior to your cycle. As you women know, when you're having some of this acne coming, it's usually right before the cycle usually hits, mm -hmm. right? So if we can take away some of this processed food or some of these animal proteins, what's going to end up happening is you're not getting as much of those hormones from the animal proteins that you're eating, right? Which may dis or dysregulate or cause an imbalance in the hormones. Mm -hmm. So doing that for five to 10 days, depending on, you can play around with this three days before, five days before. Most people should have an app to keep track of that cycle anyway. So you're kind of paying, paying attention to it. Mm -hmm. Now, these are all things that are really important. Like if you're using nonstick pans on a regular basis, like Catherine was saying, there's a lot of those things that we talked about. We'll make a list of them below. You look through those and see all those things that maybe you're doing. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to eliminate one or two and see if you get some results with this. If you don't and you continue to have problems, guess who you should call? <laughs> and we can reach out and help you. But this is one of those things that this information for you guys is for you to try to take in, absorb, and utilize this info, and then use us if you have any questions. But we appreciate you guys paying attention. We appreciate you sharing this with your friends and family. And we'll see you again on the next Breakfast with Bacon.